Hey guys, today we got the GP Pointer, um, kind of a knockoff brand of uh, the Garrett Carrot, but uh, it came with this little holder, and it came with this, so I got it connected to my keys, paid 20 bucks for it on eBay. Um, so basically uh, to help find the metal easier. Um, it does have a uh, flashlight here. Um, it also vibrates and dings when you come across metal. Um, now, you can read metal. It can read metals to about up to here. But, well, let me turn it on first. So it's now beeping uh, because obviously it's, you know, hitting the keys and it's vibrating. So I'll show you how close it can read. So it's like a little bit under an inch, so not too deep. Here we go. So we found this rock we're digging right now. So, with this uh, GP pointer, <laughs> um, I'm hoping it'll help us find metal is a little bit easier now that we have it. You can get the Garrett Carrot at Cabela's, I think, for 80 bucks. So, uh, yeah. So, a lot cheaper. reading that. So there's a bunch of granite rock that's buried and got a piece of that. And so we came back here to figure out what's in there. Oh shit. So we're coming across some more granite rock buried. At least we believe it is. Damn. Seems like a large piece. Yeah. Oh. Garrett. Or the GP's going off from my keys. like a piece of concrete. It's a big one, huh? And it's far underneath the uh, ruts of the trees. Can it be pulled out? Trying to do. There's another piece that's blocking me from getting under it. About 30 degrees today. It's kind of chilly, but the ground's moist.
another piece of granite. polished granite, but it's buried there. Another piece. Okay. Isn't any of that polished? Yeah, that's polished. It is so weird. It's got a shelf thing. No. Yeah, it raises up right here. Like a ledge. Yeah. Yes. See? It's polished. It's another piece. And the thing about it is is it's under the tree roots. There's another piece. Why would granite be buried out here in the park by the river? The trail. Oh, not the river, I should say. Okay. This one seems to be concrete, though. That one's concrete. Yeah, that one's concrete. So that's concrete. Okay, because like over there, that's concrete. Yeah. All concrete over there. Just more granite. Like a statue, maybe. I don't know. Is that? Is that more concrete? That's that white stone we found last time. Oh. No, no, no. It's the same stone as the. Oh, okay. White stone we found last. Time. Perfect edge. Yeah, perfect edge. You're right. Oh my God. So this all actually started just from metal detecting and we found a piece of granite rock here in Kansas and we were like, well, that's kind of strange. And then we noticed it was polished and then we noticed there was edges on it, like it was cut. And I'm like, well, what is it? We just don't know. We're soon to find out. This has a groove on it. Yeah. Now the red granite. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's got a... Here's another piece. Yes. Polished. Oh, so much. There's so much of it. Yeah, I know. Oh, polished, more polished. So there's so much stone, it's growing, or not growing, but it's under the tree roots. And it has a groove. Yeah, it has a groove. Let me see. Yep. Just that groove. No words or anything.
can see this. Here's a pizza slice. <laughs> yeah. Polished. That one came out clean, huh? Yeah. So this has a line in it. See? Just tons of pieces. Polished. Polished. About a 75. Let's try that. Oh, let me see how many inches it was in the ground though. Eight. Four. All right, my review for the <clears throat> GP pointer is crap. Um, it doesn't find anything if there's dirt on top of it. It literally has to be on the metal in order to vibrate. Would not recommend buying. Don't waste your money. Thanks for watching. So this is why I give this GP pointer a one star because look, right? So I put my ring in there and I'm looking for it. It literally has to be right on the ring just to even read it. That's my ring. I mean, it re reads it, but... Right on there. Yep, yeah, right on there. A well, centimeter. It's crap. One centimeter away. Yeah, it's crap.